Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and this week... Oh, I could tell you things. I can't, but I can. for the future I will have a great story that I can that I can tell but back to <laughs> back to the ship sorry that is uh, uh, back to the ship yeah I have my escape port most of you really had fun with it or said that's a good idea or the people that left comments let's say it that way and some had some extra ideas uh, Craig Connors for example said maybe add something to also drop um, decoys so nothing Uh, tries to hit the escape pods and that's a good idea that's something i definitely want to integrate into the f in the future and we'll take a look uh, what i prepared for that but on the other hand i got really distracted uh, while working on the ship and give me a sec <coughs> <coughs> now i'm losing my voice i uh Yeah, I got distracted while building and I prepared, for example, the second uh, drop pod thing. But you can already see that, that some other things already happened. And oh my God. So I prepared this this thing for the, for the next drop pod. Maybe I can build up on this and then we uh, have a new model that we park here. Then we exchange this one. But the main thing I did was, yeah, I built out uh, corridors in the ship. So, um, yeah, I started to do this. Uh, the, the, I don't have lights everywhere, but I'm going around putting lights down, working on uh, ways to get around and all this stuff. <laughs> That's one thing I will have to change in the... In the top lane will be that I got uh, again I got someone someone sent me uh, the link to a video by someone else that did a tram for one of his ships and I might integrate this too but uh, it's I don't know I got carried away with these walkways so we have walkways to the back where the other hangars are and then I have some uh, some corridors that lead away from this main corridor this main corridor leads directly down the middle of the ship so we have some other things this will be closed and then i have these rooms where i can put in things like for example here are assemblers i have a room with uh, a bit more storage for the main or not the main storage containers but the storage containers that hold the ingots uh, for uh, Tim and all that stuff and then we have this big room with the elevator and the, the hangar connectors. I kind of decided that these hangars will be hangars for personal shuttles or something like that so that we can bring in people. It's I'm alone here but it's kind of the 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 reason to have these hangers and then this main hall where the people then can go off into the other parts of the ship uh, main corridor down there again splits in the end we go back we can take this route now um, we have the storage here I don't have doors for now but you can see the closed off rooms that I will pressurize and all that stuff then we have refineries in a room on th in this area and then we are back close to the uh, the escape pods they are in here this will be a window to the outside and then we can go up to the area i'm also building in that will be here <clears throat> man i'm losing my voice that's not good um this will be an area where i that will be closed off I want to try and that's that's things with the drop pot I'm, I'm doing at the moment I'm trying to do things that I might not ever have done so what I'm trying to do here is maybe have something that uh, drops yeah decoys just to um, 
have something like that so the the ship can can drop some of them and then uh, enemy ships are getting distracted by them and we can use them to cover uh, the escape pods when if we want to escape with them so I want to put hangar doors in here and then uh, have something that builds automatic builds decoys automatically so we need batteries we need um, the decoy and then maybe a mass block so that I can maybe just drop them out of the ship um, when when I open this up and then cut them loose I'm not sure yet how to work this if a merge block is the thing or if I go with welding it up and then cutting it loose I don't have any clue I'm going really going <laughs> don't know how, how's that called <laughs> so I'm just I'm just winging it and it's like the the escape pods I'm trying to do to not watch too many other we videos so that I can go in there and and try something like that myself that that will be nice or I, I at least hope that will be nice um, again hangar doors that uh, close this off if not in use then I can open the hangar doors and maybe drop four or so uh, decoys I'm not sure if I can hang them from the ceiling and then drop them that would be nice because then I can have more than four but I also thought about something like don't know having them uh, like bombs sitting in here and then they they get dropped so then I can maybe have two or three um, I also thought about having them with um, maybe having them with thrusters just a back thruster or so that then just speeds it up and um, propels it away from the ship also something that I can do and I hope to also learn something for automatic missiles um, how I can auto build them and then drop them in here or drop them not out of here but don't know have something in the top or so that can launch them I, I'm not sure yet I'm not sure yet uh, so this happened down here we have a small walkway here for the again for the escape pods this will go at one point I just have that at the moment because I uh, yeah I constantly need to um, refill oxygen and all that stuff and then it's it's nice to have something like that nearby and also a connection to the cargo system once we don't need that anymore then that goes away this is the way to the bridge so we have the bridge behind that door and then the rest of the walkway to the front and we have more space around this the fine or the good thing about this is now that if we close this off we have space above the walkways to have uh, yeah ways channels for the the conveyors and all that stuff that we can just run through through this area or through yeah wherever is space I ripped open the whole um, yeah in between floor someone said how it's called but now I don't know anymore so every individual room will be closed off so that I can pressurize it and pressurize the pressurize the hallways or the corridors and again below this we have this main big room so this didn't change too much um, on the top floor so by the way this will be just a bit of an updatey episode I haven't thought all the all the stuff with the with the <laughs> with the decoys and all that stuff I, I haven't thought that through at all right now oh, now we are going to the top floor we don't need to be here I just want to go here 
yeah, we still have these rooms here. I'm not sure if I will um, make it like I have it down there with corridors or if I leave it open like it is. Um, I'm bringing in now all the necessities, so oxygen generators. I have, uh, this ship now has its own TIM uh, that is not doing anything right now because uh, the, the main TIM is doing the work. And then um, I also brought in the second area for the lasers and routed the lasers to this half of the ship so you can see here that now all the the lasers on the outside are connected and we have this this room here or this will be closed off and this will be the laser room um, i still have then enough room for the hangar in the front and i yet don't know how much space this all needs the good thing with the corridors below now gives me the option to uh, run connectors in here and i don't have to fear that i have to uh, leave room in the bottom and all this stuff so that that makes my life a bit easier so this all happened i laid out some uh, solar panels above the hangars so that this ship produces more of its own power this is still here and i started the candy cane or i not i started it i continue to work on the candy cane this will be colored and i have it cut off here and again this is one thing i do with a lot of my ships uh, i also put one on the duchessa um, i don't know i think it's i, st I started this in star made or here i'm i'm not sure but in StarMate, it just had the gave me the option to make the energy system bit uh, b uh, bigger at that point to just have uh, things sticking out uh, to the front. Here, it has no real purpose, but I I really like it. <laughs> One thing I tried, I wanted to shoot a drone, um, but I can't assign the drone to the pirates. I can just assign it to nobody. And my, yeah, all the turrets are set up to not shoot uh, neutrals. So, yeah, this thing is on its way. So, hopefully soon. I, oh, yeah, and I also configured now that a lot of the materials from the base are in here too. So, soon we can just take it off the base, um, build a, a drill ship and then go out and use this as a base to go again to Mars. That will be nice. Uh, the drill is wonky in here because I uh, flew out to bring in more materials. I'm... I don't run low, but it... Yeah, it... <clears throat> some of the materials I definitely need more of and so i went out and grabbed some stuff yeah i'm missing magnesium i'm missing silver but i got gold i got platinum i got silicon everything is nice with that and we still have materials in here yeah silver is missing i couldn't get that and i couldn't get nickel magnesium is, one, is something i don't need a lot because i um i'm using lasers mainly and that's that's helping with that with that good um i want to yeah really ask you to give me tips for the or not tips maybe you have suggestions for the decoys or something like that i really need suggestions for that S don't post too many videos again i want to it's uh, the, the challenge for me is to try to make it on my own and then uh, try to get in there and uh, yeah, have thought about this for myself. And mm, I'm <laughs> that's that's one thing that I would like. Oh, by the way, th th did you see this? I downloaded another mod that is one where you control the weapons of your ship 
from a control station and you can then fire them all at once it's a neat thing didn't test it but i wanted to download it and see at one point if we can use this would be nice good i'm struggling right now because again i didn't i didn't think the whole um, decoy thing right now through um, I have a bit of an idea one thing I definitely need to know is if I could use merge blocks for that so that I maybe hang the the decoys from merge blocks then it would be a lot easier to just drop them do that like it works with the with the um, with the drop pods I hope that there are uh, similarities with with that, so that I maybe can uh, just give me a second. Now it's it's getting loud here. Um, maybe that I can just uh, have them on the ceiling, and then have the. Yeah, again, have the decoy hang here. I'm I'm not sure what, how to, how to do that right now. Can I use a merge block? That's one thing we should test. So let me, let me test something. Good. Do we need a remote control for this whole thing, or does it is it enough to? maybe have a battery maybe a mess a mess block and then also have the decoy so we go and put a battery down we go and put a decoy down and we go and put a mess block down So now the question is, we have three blocks, that's not enough. So I might have to, what was this? Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's not good. Uh, this will fly through space for eternity now, I would say. Uh, come, we, we we leave that, we leave that behind. So um, we will first go without a mess block, I would say, or we have to turn it off. Our <laughs> our whole system with the built-in repair, the whole built-in repair system makes things a bit dangerous because we weld it up, then it works, and then things happen with it that's what what happened there the the gravity of the ship just pushed away the the mess block and maybe we need to build it somewhere where there's no built-in repair system okay so the can i put a merge block on here and the merge block then Okay, then we try, let me wait until it's finished. So use this, use this as the, oh no, it's, uh, what is it called? Uh, we, we have to really, or I have to be really careful now if I start to do st stuff like that to, um, to, really name that stuff um, that makes that makes life a lot easier because if I make a blueprint of something like that then uh, it's immediately called decoy and not something like this so we can for example delete this this 
this can go, this can go. I will have to clean this up. So, and now let me set up um, one of the projectors. And then we see if we can build it this way. That's one thing that is interesting for me because then I can hopefully just uh, project the decoys on the merge blocks and can then drop them from there without uh, having to involve any um, grinders or something like that. Uh, for me, it's okay if the, if the merge blocks are just, or if the decoys are a bit expensive, that's not a problem with me. Um, let me grab a button panel. That should help. But... Or does the... No, it doesn't. <clears throat> this will be a thing where I really have to individually uh, go and... Uh, blueprints. I want to have the decoy. And I want you... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, that's not what I wanted, so... Uh, projector. Key projection, so... Uh, maybe we can... Maybe we can go with this. Let me do another button panel and then um, I, I'm setting up so that we can steer it from here and just have to press buttons. Everything went so fast now <laughs> that I couldn't stop it and that no, thinks here. So you can see uh, we can use the... We definitely can use the merge blocks. So that's neat. So we don't need to... Um, work with let me do one thing um, mass block i just want to i just want to test that 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 should just work too we can drop it from here see that that's that's the thing i did just i uh put down a control a control um seat and then put all the necessary controls for the projector on the on the on the hotbar down there that makes life a lot easier so merge block three one thing that i think splitzy uses is this thing where you can go up to a block and then uh it shows what block it is and all that stuff i think i kind of have to install that if anyone can say me can tell me what this is or what uh <laughs> what uh mod that is that would be neat and if you can turn it on and off because i just need it here now otherwise i wouldn't need it let me do something because now i have to do this and see what what merge block that is merge block three i hope there's no double merge block three okay see because we have two two merge blocks um merge block three is the uh, decoy draw one it's just <laughs> it's just the name for now Okay, now I can go and can just uh, decoy drop one and say toggle on and off. Let us just test if we can drop it that way. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's already done. Okay, we don't need to do anything else anymore. And then the only thing that we would need if we want to go with uh, with a... Uh, yeah, with a system that is um, not done by mods, we would have to put down some 
um, some welders here. Do welders have reach? I don't know. Otherwise, they would have to contact directly and then... But there's enough space, so we can just have it here. And... Whoa, the... Decoy is really gone, I would say. One thing we might want to do is set up a timer that reacts if we drop it. So, because then it... Hmm. <laughs> Can we have... We could start a timer on the or have two timers or something like that. I'm, I'm thinking where should we add a timer that maybe uh, turns on the whole the whole system here because we could put a timer on here that uh, turns off the this merge block and because then we don't have to turn this off. If we turn off this merge block, then um, our system here can stay intact. It can bring in the next, the next merge block uh, connected to this, and then I if I if for example this thing not connects correctly, then uh, a decoy might get dropped onto the closed doors, and then we could have damage and problems that we can't foresee it a lot of clang i would say so maybe have a timer start a timer that turns off this merge block and turns on the mass block because i don't want to have the mass block conti continuously running that's not only um, energy that we waste i think it might also cause cause navigational problems so we might have to make a nice a nice decoy that that has a timer and the mass block on it so I will do something that's an artificial mass and then we turn this off fast otherwise it gets <laughs> otherwise it gets shot off into space and then we might add a timer a timer to it this timer then again gets started when it drops turns off the the merge block turns on the mass block so that um, again this one stays active all the time we can just keep the projection here and that might be a lot nicer than the question is can we if if we name the timer, the it should always be the same name. So we will have to test if the, the systems and button presses and all that stuff can uh, react to the new timer or are connected to the old timer. Then we have a problem because then we might have to do something with the timer system that turns on the mass block or something like that drops this we will see we will see but that was a good test for the future and again now i can <laughs> i'm going from at the moment from uh, project to project again um, i'm trying to get the ship ready kind of so that we can uh, go out out there uh, also yeah the next thing that I want to integrate is jump drives and all that stuff. This is needed too. And then we could make the first test flights and maybe go towards Mars and continue to work on the way there. Uh, we need a drill ship. We could take the other one with us for now and then maybe modify it or something like that. I'm I'm not sure how we, how we will do that. And... Um, yeah, I also need to have a way to establish communication over time. And maybe we shouldn't do the whole uh, infinite antenna range again. Maybe this time we go again for 
maybe laser antennas that the laser antennas have higher range now so we could we could see what we can do there maybe 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 good everything for the future i would say people um i would say thanks for watching uh, episode is long enough now you saw all my work tell me what you think of it tell me what you think about the decoys and all that stuff yeah and i hope to see you would i would say in the next video see ya guys